What's going on, people? Uh, just finished up a long day. Just uh, we're not really not done, but uh, just did a walk through this morning in uh, Easton Park. Uh, lovely house can be closing here tomorrow. Uh, looked at a new build by Taylor Morris out in Watergrass. Uh, beautiful house. It's probably one of the only handful of builders that are building uh, homes with pools. Um, very limited number. It actually was 19 communities in Wesley Chapel. And one. And out of those 19, there was only three that could actually build a pool on a, on a property at the same time. Uh, because you want to be able to have permits and everything pulled all at once. Uh, if not, most builders are going to turn you away or tell you buy the home first and then put in a, a pool or whatever it is you want to do after the fact. Uh, but out here viewing this one here, it's a new construction uh, home in Tampa. Um, just helped this couple get this one under contract. And uh, it's going to be a brand new, brand new home right here down in the uh, central area of, of uh of Tampa uh, not very far from downtown this one is off of uh, I would say Nebraska and uh, and uh, MLK uh, area uh, nice little house 3-2 one car garage really good size lot right now still in the process uh, probably looking at sometime in uh, in either late March maybe April for this one but pretty cool you can see the ref reflective barrier that's that radiant barrier for the heat um, this one also has because um, we've seen one of the other models they had um, actually has an, a fresh like a fresh air duct that's right here that will draw an air into the house um, but this is the interesting point just to kind of see when you get into a home, obviously you see the, end, the finished product, but this is, this is the ongoing part of it when it's being built. See how they frame in the windows? Just little, little things like that. They put in these little shims, pop it in place, be a pantry. This would be the kitchen, island air, or kitchen bar area, all the cabinets on that side. That's the garage, it's a one car garage. So we got an open layout here, another here. This right here would be the laundry. See your connections. And then that's your vent that goes right out through the house for the lint, AC. This is a bathroom right here, and you got one bedroom, the other bedroom, and this would be the this would be the master. Be the master bath that's just on the behind side of where that kitchen kitchen would be at. And then that's the master closet. Really good size closet size. You know, this home's not, not the biggest. Uh, it was about 1,800 square foot um, in the upper twos um, in price. Uh, but this one, I think, was a far superior uh, lot. Um, really good sized back area. What they want to do is screen it in um, so they can have the lanai. Um, elevation is a little bit, you know, it is, it is higher. But what they're going to do is they're going to fill it in here, we'll place some sod, but it's a good sized lot to where they can put in the, the uh, vinyl fencing on it. And uh, that way they can have their privacy. Just see the neighboring houses. But again, this will give them some privacy. Obviously this is pretty high up so you can still see the neighbors, but they're not really gonna be seeing into, into your home unless it's somebody that's up top there. Um, there's actually a little bit of a easement that's back there but again, it's overgrown. Nobody's really using it. Walk the outside. So probably the next stage, what they're gonna be doing is probably running all the electrical in this place. Because I didn't see any electrical 
connections in here yet. Just the plumbing. So you can see how why this is. I told me you could put a double double gate double fence, double gate fence there. So they can utilize all this room back here. AC will be right here. But to be in actually in Tampa, to have a lot of this size is uh you don't see too many of them. Uh, but like I said, still good enough room back here. Bring in some fill, lay some sod. Awesome little house. But if you guys have any questions, if you're looking for a place, whether if it's new construction, if it's an existing home, um, you know, I'm always, always here to have a, have a conversation. Um, you know, just see what exactly it is that you're looking to do. And, um, you know, because I get some calls where people are, you know, again, like that one is very adamant about looking for a home with a pool. And, uh, you know, I, I told them straight up, I was like, you know, it's just going to be very limited number of, of builders that are even going to do that. Um, I'll do my best to try and see what I can do. But, you know, sometimes I get people calling looking for homes that are, you know, you know, probably hundred hundred fifty thousand dollars and i'm like you know that's gonna be very difficult i'll tell them okay hey you may have to go look out either in port ritchie um somewhere out that way holiday but you know as far as tampa to try and find something relatively in good shape it's going to be very difficult right now we got low number of listings um we're trying to do what we can to try and pick up more listings you know to be able to help those people because even the last open house i went to on saturday you know i just did that one day Olga, my teammate, did on Sunday, and I would say pretty consistently, we probably had at least 20 to 25 people come into the home. Whether they had an agent or they didn't have an agent, that's a lot of people looking just for one home. So there's a lot of opportunity out there, um, you know, for sellers to to try and sell right now at a at a high price and um, you know cash out, get out of that COVID bubble, and move on to the next one if that's something they want to do. You know, it has to make sense for them. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. See you guys.